this demo starts a series of videos about creating an inexpensive robotic arm. The implementation of industrial and collaborative robots is proceeding rapidly in the era of the fourth industrial revolution. As you know, the robotic arm can be used in various purposes – welding, rigging, painting, assembling, and other. This robot under development will be primarily used as a large 3D printer for printing products from the recycled plastic. The Trashback project on those channel this video is released is engaged in technologies for collecting recyclable materials, including recycled polymers. Based on our goal, at the first stage we will build a 4-axis robot. Then we will increase the number of axes to 5 or 6. You have to understand that before that, from time to time I tried to implement a robotic arm during the last year. Therefore, this project will not be implemented from scratch. It is based on my experience and the experience of the colleagues from the other YouTube channels. At the first stage, we will work on the joints of the robot. These are the mini joints that were built before. With their help, I worked out various technical solutions. Here are the conclusions I've got and the technical solutions I'm using in this project. Each of the joints will be universal. This reduces the variety of parts and simplifies the design. The UR5 robot is taken as an example of this approach. To remove the load of the final joint of the robot, we will simplify it and transfer the actuators to the previous joint. Corner holder design with wide outer flange. It is done for easy of attachment and minimization of backlash. Brushless motors. Unlike stepper motors, they are compact, lightweight, low power consumption, have a higher PM, so you can change the gear ratio uh, without changing the speed of the robotic arm. Further, it will be possible to use stepper motors. I will also try to implement this option. Fog controller Mateus. This is similar to Mint Mini Cheetah controller, but more advanced. It has precise vector position control, built-in magnetic encoder, the ability to connect the second encoder, CAN bus control, which can significantly reduce the number of wires, a large Discord community, and smart leader Josh. Double cycloidal gear. It is compact with a large gear ratio, easy to manufacture. For now I will use the gear ratio of 1 to 24, but uh, it can be easily changed without increasing the size of the joint itself. Self-made cross roller bearing. I tried using large industrial bearing, but they have two drawbacks, weight and price. This bearing is cheap, it has zero backlash, it straightens the structure, especially lateral loads. Absolute position encoder. If you need high precision of robotic arm movement, you need to understand its joint absolute position at a given time. It can be done by constantly multiplying the gear ratio by the rotation of the motor. However, this approach has two significant disadvantages. You do not know the position of the joint at the moment the robot is turned on. And if it skips steps, you will have wrong values. The disadvantages of using the absolute encoder is that the joint can only rotate for 270 degrees. Uh, for my robotic arm, this limitation is not critical. So we have designed a joint with a design power of 40 newton meter and maximum RPM of 360. I used PEG as uh, the 3D printing material. It is affordable, wear resistant, not harmful for humans when printing. Plus, uh, Trashback project collects PET bottles in our reverse vending machines, and it will be great uh, in the future to make robotic arm from recycled plastic. These are all the necessary components of our uh, joint. Let's start assembling. I tried as rollers both 3D printed rollers and rollers from bearings. After testing, I preferred the second option because of their higher accuracy, uh, better glide, 
However, each steel roller weighs three times more than a plastic one. It will add extra uh, 40 grams to the joint. The total weight of the joint is 750 grams. It is more than the previous version. With that, let me end the first video. The next video is dedicated to testing the joint and then assembling the robot arm. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, leave the opinion in the comments, put like.